What's up guys and welcome to my first 5 minute review video. Now the reason why I started doing these videos is because I get really bored watching 20 or 30 minute videos listening to people talk about stuff that to me isn't relevant. So I'm going to start doing these videos where I record cubing related stuff and I'll be doing it in under 5 minutes so I get straight to the point and tell you what you need to know. Now today I'm going to be reviewing the Armadillo Cube. The Armadillo Cube is a new design that's come out, and as you can see, it, the color scheme is a little different than normal 3x3. Each edge has a different color, so we go around here. Each edge has a different color. Uh, corners still have three colors, except they're kind of rotated so that they form these blocks here. And centers now have four colors. Now the centers is probably what makes this cube a little more difficult than a standard 3x3. Reason for that is if I, let's say, do a T-perm, you can see that these two colors have changed and these two colors have changed, but these two greens are now misaligned and this green piece hasn't been affected by the T-perm. So if I do another T-perm, you can see that we've now got a parity case. So as you're solving, you can get parity cases like this, which can be solved like a normal with a normal double T-perm. but it just gets a little annoying with some things like recognition. So that is probably what adds to difficulty, although it isn't all that difficult. I and a couple friends figured it out within half an hour, I'd say, and I'm not that great of a cuber, so I'm sure any, even a beginner Rubik's Cube person could probably do this. Now one of the cool features about this cube is the ability for these colored plastic bits to come off. So I can try and get this off. Ah. Okay, there we go. So you can see that these plastic colored bits have actually come off the mechanism. So because of that, they're kind of like removable stickers and they don't peel as well, which is good, and it's easy to reset the cube. So for someone who does know how to do a Rubik's Cube and they mark this up, they can just pull these off and put them back where they need to go. Now, this puzzle isn't much of a speed cube. This is just a fun puzzle, so I'll be reviewing it as if it is just a fun puzzle. Um, the turning on this is actually really, really nice. For a fun puzzle, it is really good turning. Um, the only puzzles that I've felt that have uh, non-cubing, non-speed cubing puzzles that I've felt that have this kind of turning, I'd say, are method puzzles. Method puzzles tend to turn really well, but this was just unexpected. I broke it in a little, which got away the scratchy feel, then added two or three drops of Maro, and now it feels really nice. Now with corner cutting, as I said, it's not a speed cube, so it doesn't really corner cut that well. Can't even corner cut one piece. Um, if we go a bit below one piece, then it can kind of do that with some force, as you can see there. But yeah, it just doesn't really corner cut. As I said, this is not a cube meant for speed cubing. So overall, I think this is a really fun puzzle. Um, as I said, it only took me half an hour to do, uh, to figure out how to solve it. I currently use basic cross, F to L, and then I use um, pretty much standard OLL algorithms, two-look OLL algorithms to orient the corners. Then I use A perms and alternate U, H, and Z perms so that it doesn't orient these centers as well. Um, so yeah, I would rate this a 8 out of 10, just as a really fun puzzle to do. As a speed cube, it's probably a 2 or 3 out of 10, just because it sucks as a speed cube. But as I said before, it, that, that isn't what this is designed to be. It's not designed to be a speed cube. It's just designed to be a nice, fun puzzle for people to do. And because of that, uh, I'm going to rate it as a fun puzzle. So please tell me in the comments if you like these kind of videos, if you want more what kind of cubes or non or cube related items you'd like me to review and I'll try and get onto that and don't forget to like and subscribe I'll catch you in my next video